Greetings everyone. I am Nagnath, a cobra, which is one of the venomous snakes of India. People of this country offer me milk in bowls on Nag Panchmi. Please, I can't have milk as it turns my hood white. Rats say my sa yum. Snake charmers also play the bean on the roads to make me sway on the music with stitched mouths for the entertainment of people. But I, like the other reptiles, do not have ears. So how can I listen to the music? However, rattlesnakes have rattles on their tails. Fortunately, I am protected under our WPA 1972 which not only prohibits snake shows but also has banned the road shows of sloth bears and monkeys we snakes share some common similarities with lizards we are limbless like the worm lizard and the slow worm have forked tongues like the tegu lizard and the mont lizard although we cobras bite There are some who spit venom into the eyes, and one of them lives in this country. What makes us cobras different from other snakes is that we have a hood on either side of the head, which we enlarge to look frightening, similar to the frill-necked lizards of Australia, who enlarge their frill to look dangerous, but they are not venomous. Speaking of Australia, we are going there to see another venomous snake. Thank you, Nagnath. No mention. On the hottest day of the year, a Thai pan swims in the water hole. Every night at the Pantanal, whenever a Thai bear comes to eat plants, he talks to his friend an anaconda. Now let's see another non-poisonous snake of Brazil. A boa is going out on a hunt. He sees a frog. He slithers to catch him. He catches the frog and constricts him. That's how non-venomous snakes hunt by constricting or squeezing their prey.